Hello YouTube, this is CompuWiz47 aka Zorcher from Doom Connector. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 3.1 and DOS on a computer. Yes, Windows 3.1 using DOS and nothing else. You may be wondering why am I creating this tutorial? Well, I'm actually curious to see who still uses Windows 3.1 to this day and who and what hardware you've used. So I've noticed all the tutorials on YouTube that showcase how to install Windows 3.1 but they are using Virtual PC 2007 which actually uses the parts in a modern PC. But I'm actually going to use a slightly older machine with parts that are completely compatible with Windows 3.1 and don't use any kind of emulated method to run on this machine. Now I'm curious who out there has made a PC like this and what parts did you use? This is especially important because in order to do a project such as this well it's 2010 you can hardly ever find the parts or the drivers anymore to run Windows 3.1 in its natural environment. It's becoming harder and harder to find the parts you need. So if anybody out there wants to showcase their machines, please do. I'm curious. Send me your comments and hardware pieces you used. Um, as for myself, uh, I still use old Windows applications, old DOS applications, and I still have all the old disks and they still work. And in a future video I will definitely showcase these applications and what they do. So to begin this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and open up my computer and show you the parts that I've used to complete this setup. As you can see on my screen right now it is actual Windows 3.1 using my video card drivers to display at 1280 by 1024 resolution. Pretty amazing, huh? Normally it's supposed to run in 640 by 480, but my video card drivers are advanced to show it at this resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and open my machine and I will see you guys in a little bit. So as you can see here, I currently have the computer opened up. It is a 1999 gateway computer that still has most of its original parts, but I have done a few upgrades to it that allows this setup to fully work. As you can see, there's the front with the Design for Windows 98 logo. It has a CD-ROM burner and a DVD player as well as a floppy drive on the front. So as we look at the inside here I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate all the parts that are currently in the system. At the top here you can see I have a 200 watt power supply. It is still the original from the 1999 machine. It has worked very well. Up here you can see there's the CD-ROM burner, the floppy drive, and the DVD-ROM player. The motherboard that I'm currently using is a Mach Speed 694 TAS motherboard with a VIA chipset. I'd have to say this board definitely has worked very well for me. It has worked so well in fact that the capacitors actually died on me one day and I replaced them and put it back into the computer and it ended up working just as well as it did before. So. This uh, motherboard is definitely very durable. It has great onboard sound for DOS gaming. And I'll cover that in more detail as we get on with the tutorial. At the top I have a Pentium 3 1 GHz processor in the machine. And over here I am using just one memory stick, 512 megabytes. That should be enough to cover your needs. It is 512 megabytes PC 133 SD RAM card. For the video I use a 16 megabyte Riva TNT. I still have the original modem. The video card is also from the original system. 
and I also put an Ethernet card into it. Now I don't use Ethernet in Windows 3.1 nor do I use the, the modem in Windows 3.1 but uh, you know maybe someone out there has actually done so before. I've heard it's still possible so huh. I guess if anyone wants to send me a comment, comment about that go ahead. Now I have upgraded the hard drive but I still do have the original hard drive in the machine. This one up top is an 80 gigabyte hard drive and then the one on the bottom is the original 12 gigabyte hard drive. Now you may wonder I have two hard drives and DOS only supports up to up to two gigabytes. Well it is true that is true but this system actually I set it up as a triple boot system. So when I once the machine is completely set up I have three partitions on it. The first one is DOS for my classic gaming needs. The second is Windows 98, so if you have DirectX games, and even the Riva TNT is powerful enough to handle them. And then I have Windows XP for if I want to connect the machine to the internet. So it really does work wonders because it works across the spectrum. It would work for basically anything you may want. And then in the corner, I'm also going to show that I have a PC speaker in it. So, now that I've covered the computer I'm using, I'm going to go ahead and close it up. And we got to partition the hard drives and get ready for installation. So, I'll see you in a little bit.